Hello, Miss Tracy. Uh, coming back with lattice, bigger numbers. This is uh, to continue the first lesson with my cherry children in Africa. Now we're going to look at how we use lattice for some bigger numbers. Okay. So let's start with one similar to what we ended with, which is a, a three by two. And we're going to lay it out. You lay it out with me. We have 495 okay. by 35. Complete this. It should look like this. Now we divide our boxes. We have to make sure this one gets divided. And then we divide these boxes, these boxes, and there. And we have everybody divide up the way we need them. And now let's multiply. Now remember, I'm not going to worry about this line here at all. Not until we finish this one. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 4 is 12. Now let's do our second number. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 9 is 45, and 5 times 4 is 20. I get a little lost every time I try and do a 5 upside down. Now let's add. Okay, here we have a 5. Here we have 5, 10, 2, 10, 12. 12, take that one up here, and we have 2 in here, 2, 7, 4, 0, 2, 7 is 9, and 4 is 13, and 0, put the one up here, we have 3, Two and two. Three and two is five and two is seven. And bring the one down. Seventeen thousand three hundred and twenty five. Okay. Now let's go one more number up. And if you can do this and set this kind of thing up, it doesn't matter how big it is or complicated. You've got the setup and it doesn't change. So we go with the seven, six, and three. Okay. And down here we have a two, a three, and a four. Okay. There's my Here are my little boxes. Okay. Hopefully you left more room on the paper at the bottom than I did. Okay, so I'm going to be a tight squeeze here. I'm going to divide this one, and then I have to divide these boxes here, and then this box, this box, this box, this box, this box. Just the division of the boxes is the trickiest, I think. After that, it's pretty simple. We just multiply. So you do it with me. 2 times 3 is 6. 6, no tens. Okay. 2 times 6 is 12. 
2 times 7 is 14. Okay. 3 times 3 is 9. Nothing here. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 7 is 21. Last one. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 7 is 28. Okay. Now we get to add. This is kind of what I think is kind of fun. So you have to just watch out. It's like solving a puzzle. Okay, so we have our 2. And now we have a 9, 1, 4. 9 and 1 is 10. 4 is 14. 14. Okay. This is a 7 and nothing. 8 and 2 and 8. Okay, I have to make sure I go all the way down. So 8 and 2 is 10. And 10 and 8 is 18. 19 and 6 is 25. That was a big number, wasn't it? I'm going to do it backwards again, probably. Yes, I did. 25. Okay. So I have 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Don't have to carry anything on that one. One and four is five, and two is seven, and one. So my answer ends up being one hundred seventy-eight thousand five hundred and forty-two. Can you imagine what it would have looked like if we had to carry all those numbers? up here and then try and remember to add them in and then remember which number it was that we carried across. Okay. That's why I like this because it really makes a nice picture of it and lays it out pretty easily. Let's just do one more. I threw in a little bit of a trick here by putting a zero into one of them. Let's see if it will work the same way. Okay. Two, nine, eight. Okay, we're going across. Going down, we have 4, 0, 5. When will I learn to stay away from the 5s? Hmm? Okay, let's do the big box. And then we'll do our lines going this way and this way. Now we get to think about how we separate the little boxes into half. Okay. Separate each little box in half. Each little box in half. Okay. And now multiply. It's kind of a also a fun way just to practice multiplication facts, I think. So when he was testing me right now, four times eight is thirty two. 4 times 9 is 36. And 4 times 2 is 8. 8 ones, no hundreds. 8. Okay. Now we have the 0. Well, 0 times 8 is 0. 0 times 9 is 0 times 2. All done with zeros. Go to the next number. 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 9 is 45. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay. Now, we add. Notice that zero didn't give us any problem, did it? It just was there. But it's held our place for us fine. So we have a zero. 
and you have 0, 4, and 5, that's 9. And you have 2, 0, 0, 4, 0, 2, 4, 6. And 3, 6, 0, 0, 1. Well, we've got 9, 10. Now this is 4 and 8 and 0. 4 and 8 is 12. There's 1. 1. 1, 2, 0, 120,690. Okay. That's lattice. It's really a lot of fun. Okay? And we'll look at the ones that you had for homework when we get to meet again next time. This is Miss Tracy saying, have a nice afternoon.